Hi everyone, and welcome to another Tri 4X Power Hour. I'm Marcello. Today is June 19th, 2014, and I'm going to do today what I've done for years, which is an analysis of the market and evaluation of our biases, which are based upon the 5 p.m. Eastern time close of our daily bars. So your question is, what is the bias? Bias is essentially the highest probability of a currency pair moving in one direction or the other. Therefore, if we believe that a currency pair, an instrument, is going to move up, it's going to be a buy bias, and vice versa for a sell bias, if we believe that price is going to move within a range, we call that a consolidation bias. And that's how, that's really our formula for success. We determine what the bias is, then we either take a set and forget a trade, or we use um, our day trading methodology. Very, very straightforward, utilizing our pods. So if you don't know what a pod is, go to tribeforex.com. We have training there for that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look at, let's take a look at the market. So we have here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the euro dollar. and I'm going to do just basic tri uh, chart analysis here. Now, yesterday, guys, what's interesting is that we did get some news. Fundamentally, uh, we got some dollar weak news. So we're expecting the dollar to be weaker. That would mean that the that currency pairs against it would strengthen in those particular currency pairs. What I'm looking for specifically <clears throat> from my technicals, though, is that I'm looking here and I see trend lines here that are being obeyed. I'm seeing areas of resistance that are being obeyed on here on this euro dollar <clears throat> specifically, and this trend line is actually being held. So <clears throat> we do have some form of a reversal candle here. I'm going to follow the, the technicals for the time being. So what am I looking for? Basically, we have the 200 EMA, <clears throat> which is at 136.25. <clears throat> we can see that price came up to 136.38, which is where a trend line is, a trend line that has been um, in existence for some time. And then so we've got between 136.25 and 136.35, very, very strong area of resistance. And so we're going to be looking for some form of a turn at that point. Now, guys, if we see price break the high of this reversal candle here, I can tell you right now that we're going to be looking for more movement to the upside, and we're going to see a a, a lack of recognition of the market of these of these trend lines because we're going to see move up, and that means that the market has accepted that the U.S. dollar is going to be weaker, and so we're going to see euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar, um, all these different currency pairs move up. We're going to see the dollar Swiss move down, dollar yen, etc. Unless of course there's an intervention by uh, the the, <clears throat> the uh, in Japan there. So what we're looking for is on the euro dollar <clears throat> right now. I'm looking for a sell off of 136.30 between 136.25 and 136.35, where I have substantial support, uh, resistance here. All right, dollar Swiss. <clears throat> I'm going to be looking for some resistance, some support. Sorry, at 89.17. So price gets down there. I'm looking for. Uh, resistance at 89.17. Okay, the way that the market really reacted here is that we had a bounce off of this 50 EMA, <clears throat> and this 50 EMA essentially is is acting as support for us, and it bounced off at 89.16. Price going down to 89.09. We're going to expect similar action to occur here on the uh, dollar Swiss. So 80 89.17 is where we're going to be looking to see a bounce on the dollar Swiss. Now the pound dollar is a different story altogether. Pound dollar is just continuing to get stronger. We're going to look for price to continue to move up because we do not have any areas of resistance that we're going to hold that thing back. Not at this point, not where we are. Um, <clears throat> there's actually a point that we can look to and it's about 171.40. That's where the uh, upper Bollinger Band is for the weekly. And so we've got to look for that. That's going to be our next point to look for. We have a buy bias on the pound dollar, and that's all it's showing us for now. We don't have any areas of resistance that would hold it back. Now, one thing that you can look for, you can look for price to come down to 170.16 perhaps and bounce off of that Bollinger um, there and then move up. So we have a buy bias on the pound dollar. The dollar yen, <clears throat> according to this, the market has actually adhered to this and really uh, respected, recognize this trend line here that is sitting at 101.83. Um, and so you can see that price is already testing below it. But uh, we're going to be looking for a buy. We're going to be looking for a buy on the dollar yen. 
price to get back into this consolidation because it has not broken through the consolidation. So we've got to continue to look for consolidation on this dollar yen. So we're going to look for wherever price is right now. We're going to look for price to move up potentially to 102.20. Aussie dollar. <clears throat> so yesterday, as I said, we had consolidation. We saw price move up. It touched this upper trend line and it did end up coming down. That's beautiful, actually. That, that shows us that we're still in consolidation here on the Aussie dollar. And it shows us that if you had taken the trade right there on that trend line at 94.27, when price went up to 94.30, where I told you to, uh, potentially you would have had a, a good run down. So here's what we're looking for. The same, very same movement, more or less. 94.25 is going to be where we're going to look for a sell. And we're going to look for uh, more of this movement and see an unfoldment in the Aussie dollar. Now, we could see price break out of this range. But for right now, we're going to be looking for consolidation action, which means 94.25 is going to give us a sell. Uh, Euro yen, I said to sell off of the trend line at 138. Yesterday, it was 138.82. That would have bode well for you. It would have done well. Um, and so now we're going to be looking for price to go to, to bounce off of 138.90. Um, if it continues to push up against this, this it's going to move back into this channel. We're going to have a new area of support and resistance. Actually, we do have a new area of support and resistance if we want to consider it. <clears throat> and of course, we want to consider it because that's what we do. Um, so let's take a look here. <clears throat> so that's another area of support and resistance to consider. Here's another one, just drawing from swing high to swing low, or swing low to swing low, I should say. We'll see which one's recognized here. In fact, I should start from the time frame. Okay. Yeah, so for the time being, we're going to look for a sell-off in the Euro Yen from 138.90 in that vicinity. Pound Yen. Pound Yen continues to buck up against this upper Bollinger Band. And so it has stayed in consolidation, so we've got to consider consolidation here again. Um, so basically that means a sell-off of 173.86, uh, perhaps staying in the range at 173.34. Um, being that the pound dollar is a buy, we may see that the market may bounce off of 173.34 to the upside. So look, we are in consolidation. There's no denying that. Um, but the best bet is to uh, look for potential buys at 173.34, which is this trend line, <clears throat> which is the nearest area of support for the pound yet. Okay. New Zealand dollar. The New Zealand dollar is clearly here uh, in consolidation. Also, it's got an inside bar right now <clears throat> where it stands. And we're going to look for more consolidation here on the New Zealand dollar. Not really clear where this New Zealand dollar is going to go or how far that consolidation is going to go. Um, for where it is, can certainly move up or it could come down to this trend line. So I don't have a clear call for that. Look for areas of, of support and resistance on the New Zealand dollar to play that consolidation. Now, the dollar CAD was interesting because we expected it to uh, to really stay within this trend line that it that had developed. And now it is broken below this trend line. <clears throat> and so now we've got to have a sell bias. We've got to look for um, this area, which had become which was resistance was support. Sorry, to become resistance for us and look at, at 1.0828 to be an area of resistance now. So price may bounce down off of that. Um, and continue downward from what we can tell. Uh, this is not a clear market. There are some days that are extremely clear. And when I tell it to you, when I just say take this trade, that's what you should. I mean, <clears throat> I can't tell you what to do, but that would make sense. Um, so that's what I, I expect to say about today is that they're not super clear. We're actually watching and waiting for an unfoldment, if you will, of the market. Okay, we're looking for for the the market to continue to unfold. And um, so, yeah, so on the, the euro dollar looks, you know, has very good technicals for me. 136.25 to 
see if the market uh, sells off from there. That's a good opportunity there. Um, this pound out, this dollar Swiss, look for a buy off of 89.17 as it stays. Um, it sees it, see if it stays within that range. The pound dollar is a buy, looking for a buy off of the Bollinger high at 1.7016. The dollar yen uh, should be a buy right off of uh, off this trend line, right where it is, 101.89, um, 101.80 up from there. Aussie dollar um, is a consolidation bias. <clears throat> Euro yen is looking for basically a sell off of 138.87. Pound yen is consolidating once again from where it is right now. It should pop down at least a little bit to 173.30. Uh, New Zealand dollar is a consolidation. And the dollar CAD is looking for a sell off of 1.0828 if it gets there again <clears throat> from what it's saying here on the technicals. So with that, guys, that is our Thursday. I look forward to seeing you guys again in our next session, which will be next Monday for another edition of the Tribe Forex Power Hour. I'll talk to you soon.